the Rebel Judges, Rebel Teachers and my Starling friends, a very good evening to all. I'm here in front of you, well, behind the screen, to recite the poem, This is not a humanising poem, written by the famous British spoken word poet, speaker and writer Suhaima Manzoor Khan. In this poem, she writes about the life as a Muslim woman in England, or her sight as a brown hijabi. Here goes the poem, please enjoy. Some poems force you to write them. The way sirens force their way through window panes at night and you cannot shut out the news, even when you try. Write a humanising poem. My pen and paper gold me. Show them how wrong their preconceptions are. Be relatable, write something upbeat for a change, crack a smile. Tell them how you also cry at the end of Toy Story 3 and you are just as capable of bantering about the weather in the post office queue. Like everyone, you have no idea how to make the perfect amount of pastas. Still, feed them stories of stoic humour. Make reference to childhood. Tell anecdotes about being frugal. Mention the X Factor. Be domestic, successful, at least. Tell them you know brown boys who cry. About the sights of Azar, Tamiz, and her sense they don't know. The complex in the worlds of Sumerians and Aishas. Tell them comedies as well as tragedies. How full of life we are, how full of love. No. I put my pen down. I fooled let that poem force me to write it. Because it's not the poem I want to write. It's the poem I'm being reduced to. Reduced to proving my life as human. Because it's relatable. Valuable because it's recognisable. But could you see as these family and childhood memories are not the only thing that counts as life? Living is. So this will not be a Muslim's all like us poem. I refuse to be respectable. Instead, love us when we are lazy, love us when we are poor, love us in our back-to-back -back homeless state, depressed, unwashed, weeping, love us high as kites. Unemployed, joyriding, time-wasting, failing at school, love us filthy. Without the right colour passport, without the right sounding English, love us silent and apologising, shopping in parlance, climbing up school, unsure, homeless, sometimes violent, love us when we aren't athletes. When we don't bake cakes, when we don't offer our homes or free taxi rides after the event, when we are wretched, suicidal, naked, and contributing nothing. Love was dead. Because if you need me to prove my humanity, I'm not the one that's not human. My mother texted me too after the BBC News alert. Are you saying humanity? I'm not the one that's not human. My mother texted me too after the BBC News alert. Are you safe? Let me know you're home, okay? She means safe from the incident, yes, but also from the after effects. So sometimes I wonder, which day of the week might I call as liberal? And which moment have I forehead to the ground am I conservative? I wonder, when you buy bones, is there a clear difference between the deadly one that kills and the heroic one that scattered democracy? How can we kill in the name of saving lives? How can we illegally detain in the name of maintaining law? I can't write it. I put my pen away. I can't, I won't write it. Is this radical? Am I radical? Because there's nowhere else left to exist now. Thank you.